Welcome to this Wednesday edition of a Rongo Talk here at the Dunes Mall in Valfus Bay. My name is Adolf Kaure and I will be your host for today. So today's interview will be on Cedric Lucas who talks about the pending opening of the B2 truck port located at the entrance of Arandas. We will also be bringing you the news as well as the weather and tides. Stay tuned for today's calendar day. And now for the news. Uh, the second break bulk shipment of copper cathodes uh, were recently exported via the port of Valfus Bay. So Namport announced that it recorded a significant milestone when the Unicia vessel docked at the port earlier this week and loaded more than 8,500 metric tons of copper cathodes destined for the port of Panama in the United States of America. So the shipment is the second consignment of copper being exported via Valfus Bay in a break bulk uh, format as an alternative to container sized export. So the copper cathodes arrived from the Mopani copper mine in Zambia and were transported to Valfus Bay via the road uh, loaded into the Unicia. Secondly, there is a four-digit number that gives banking customers access to their money and fraudsters are aware of this information and are always looking for an opportunity to steal the secret number to defraud them from their hard-earned money. So if a customer shares the PIN with anyone, they effectively give the person access to their account and allow them to make purchases using a customer's account and transfer money from their account. So all customers should keep their PIN secret in the same way they should keep a password safe and secure. Moving on, uh, long distance truck drivers were in need, uh, who are in need of urgent medical attention can breathe easily after Engine recently handed over six oxygen concentrators to the Valfus Bay Corridor Group, that is WBCG Wellness Services, to assist in their fight against COVID-19. So the official handover of the oxygen concentrators occurred during the launch of the WBCG drive through vaccination program in Vintuk. And the six oxygen concentrators will be used by frontline health workers at the WBCG mobile wellness clinic across Namibia to improve the quality of care provided to those urgently requiring oxygen. Last but not the least, Nampost employees based in Valfus Bay handed over a petition to the Nampost board on 12 October this year. The initial intention was to have demonstrations at all 134 post offices in Namibia, but protests took, um, took place at only four post offices. So in the petition, the workers blamed the company for failing to address a number of issues, and these include uh, alleged unfair recruitment procedures linked to regional managers who are apparently appointed uh, or they are appointed without meeting the required qualifications. So this is one of many issues that Nampost employees aired during this uh, petition. So you can catch this and many other stories on our website which is www.erongo.com.na.
are in the company of Mr. Cedric Lucas, uh, the manager at the B2 Truckport, yes. soon to be completed B2 Truckport. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us about uh, your business, uh, about the owners, uh, and when this idea was conceptualized. Well, the owners are uh, my parents. They've been very long in the petrol industry now, mm -hmm. for quite some time, nearly 20 years. And uh, this project actually started in 2009, 2018. Um, was the initial purchase of the land and everything and then the construction started at the end of 2019 so we will be looking forward to this it's going to be a truck port yes and it's going to provide essential services for the b2 highway yes so 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 the product what what are you going to be putting out there oh we're going to provide petroleum products for both trucks diesel and 95 to small cars that, that, that take the unleaded fuel as well as a shop that's going to be fully stocked and a takeaway which food is going to be out of this world uh -huh, uh -huh. so so uh, in terms of employment creation what what can we look at well a service station as big as this will generally employ between 8 and 12 people that's excluding management we got to yes. look at the, the the number of cars passing through the forecourt as well the feet passing through the shop so yes so pump we attendance go, pump attendance uh, they will they will shifts. definitely be and they will be definitely be shifts yes yes which yes, will yes. which will provide great employment for the town of arandas yes so so uh, how have COVID impacted uh, the development uh, of, of of your business and and what have you done to mitigate its impact well during the first um, wave that COVID hit and uh, the country was on lockdown it was quite difficult to get uh, infrastructure in through the borders yes. but uh, we've pushed through it and with the help of a lot of local suppliers buying local we've managed to 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 get this far yes. uh, according to our quantity surveyor we are at 85 percent completion so we are looking to open on the first of december 2021 wow. just in time for the december break. just in time yes so so in terms of investment what are we talking about here? well this project wasn't wasn't easy to acquire so and it's not a cheap one it was a couple of million to get the funding for it and uh, we're looking to 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 get that investment back within the next five ten years yes yes in terms of uh, positives and uh, negatives can you elaborate oh, what have kept you back what have pushed oh, you forward uh, like i explained earlier with the COVID um, pandemic it was the first uh, lockdown which happened where it was very difficult to get infrastructure especially steel into yes. the country yes and um, which ultimately led to the guys that are constructing the place to sit at home so that that was a bit of a, a setback wow. but we've pushed through it like i said with the help of a lot of local suppliers and the town itself there mm. has been a lot of uh, positive input into the site wow so so why have you chosen arandas as such we've chosen arandas because this is prime 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 location this we've monitored the amount of trucks that pass through here as well the amount of trucks that leave Balfour's Bay and Sokop without filling up because of the facilities that are not provided for them small mm. site small service station so here at the B2 truck port we look to provide to the truckers need so that the truck can come in fill up fill up his belly as well and get on his way and know that he's been serviced yes so, so so what does it mean in terms of business for the town and also provide other places uh, such as tire repair shops small mechanics at work from home as well there's always there's always something to be done at yes. the service station yes yes okay so so what's your message to prospective investors or clients out there prospective clients please on the 1st of december 2021 we are going to be open and we expect everyone everyone that's traveling to the coast for the december holidays to make a stop at the b2 truck port it is very difficult to miss it will be the only service station on the b2 highway so everybody is welcome we will we will fulfill the needs of truck drivers small cars taxis everybody is welcome even the townsfolk as well yes so 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 in terms of of prices you are close to the coast what does that mean for the user well that it, it's 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 a difficult situation that because uh, the price of the diesel and the petrol is always determined from the distance away from the coast yes but for those that are in a hurry and do not want to wait long mm -hmm. this will be the ideal uh, place for them to come and fill up refresh and refresh and everything Grab i understand it's only 60 kilometers from soccer but that first 60 kilometers between soccer and arandas it does put a strain on a person and this just refreshes you for the rest of the drive back into the england yes in terms of road safety what do you think will will this uh, truck uh, stop uh, uh, attribute 
Oh, well, definitely, because uh, across the street, I don't know if you'll take a note of it, it is that um, monitoring centers which they have put up these cameras along the road. Yes. So we will obviously and ultimately provide a safe place for uh, ambulances to come and stand, tow drivers to come and stand, or even to come and fill up if they need. If it is an emergency, we're always there to help. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you very much. Shabos. Welcome to Irongo Talk. My name is Beatrice Schultz and I'm the Soccer Women Ambassador for Future Females. Last week we spoke about the importance of knowing the purpose of your business. This week we're going to dive into outlining the ideas that derive from the purpose. So today's business tip is as follows. When it comes to bringing out the idea that you have for your business, make sure that you want to do something that naturally comes easily to you. If it's easy for you to go out there and market, that could be your business idea. If baking comes easily to you and you have a lot of people complimenting and say, mm, those cookies are out of this world, then it's probably something that you should really look into. Do something that is easy. Do something that you can confidently do for yourself. Now, as much as you want to ask other, the people around you their opinion about what it is that you're good at, make sure that you remember at the end of the day, it is just that, their opinion. So you need to make sure that you outline each idea and really evaluate if this idea is feasible and of course, if it will be able to bring you a profitable income. So here are some questions that you can ask yourself when outlining those ideas. So I'm going to consult my notes. So let's get right into it. Number one, what does the product or service look like? Number two, what problem is the product or service trying to solve? Number three, how do I know that others would be interested in this product or service? Number four, who would my customers be? Number five, is there an opportunity to turn the product or service into a customer focused experience? And lastly, number six, can I make a profit from this product or service? It's awesome to have an idea and it's amazing for people to tell you that you're good at something, but do you have a customer base for this product or idea? And is it something that can be profitable? Join us again next week as I share more business tips to help you start and grow profitable businesses. Today, in Walfish Bay, the sun was out at 0626 and will set at 1908. Walfish Bay experienced a maximum temperature of 18 degrees with a minimum of 12 and a maximum of 18 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A northwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 11 kilometers per hour.
for Sokobun. The sun was out at 0626 and was set at 1908. Sokobun will experience a maximum temperature of 17 degrees with a minimum of 12 and a maximum of 17 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A west northwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 9 km per hour. For Handys Bay, the sun was out at 0627 and will set at 1908. Handys Bay will experience a maximum temperature of 18 degrees with a minimum of 13 and a maximum of 17 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A west northwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 11 km per hour. For Arandes, the sun was out at 0624 and will set at 1906. Arandes will experience a maximum temperature of 26 degrees with a minimum of 9 and a maximum of 22 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A westerly wind will prevail with a speed of 13 km per hour. For Osakos, the sun was out at 06.22 and will set at 19.03. Osakos will experience a maximum temperature of 35 degrees with a minimum of 7 and a maximum of 30 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A north-northwesterly wind will prevail with a speed of 15 km per hour. For Karabab, the sun was out at 0621 and will set at 1902. Karabab will experience a maximum temperature of 34 degrees with a minimum of 6 and a maximum of 31 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A northerly wind will prevail with a speed of 15 km per hour. In our last weather for today, for Omaruru, the sun was out at 0621 and will set at 1901. Omaruru will experience a maximum temperature of 33 degrees with a minimum of 7 and a maximum of 31 degrees predicted for tomorrow. A northeasterly wind will prevail with a speed of 13 km per hour. And that's it for today. And that brings us to the end of this Wednesday edition of Erongo Talk. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to visit our website that is www.erongo.com.na to catch all the latest news and so much more. Uh, we also have a WhatsApp and Telegram number which is 0811-700040. I repeat 0811-700040. So send us your videos in landscape mode as well as your news tips and that is also your go-to number for advertisement opportunities and since we're going digital um catch us also on uh oneup2.com so that is our digital uh nmh uh, tv channel so that is oneup2.com my colleague uh, micheline will be presenting tomorrow do catch her tomorrow for another episode of erongo talk so for me it has been a pleasure and from the rest of the team as well, it's bye-bye.